Hello, let's talk about local macros. Why is it important? I'm going to show you why it's important and why I'm going to make this video. As you can see, I'm going to use the other data which you can uh, insert in your data with web views. And then oftentimes I see uh, the students work some, let's keep it simple like this regression here. Yeah. It's nice, it's working, but is it smooth? Absolutely not. Why? Imagine if you have a data sheet with a lot of more variables and you all don't want to type them all the time in. So that's why you create local macros. There's a difference between global and local and going to spare the details because that's what you can read up later on. I'm going to show you how to use them technically. So imagine if you have um, a set of variables you want to have a regression on. And let's say um, uh, like these independent variables and then you write uh, local variable list one for example and then headroom trunk weight length turn and foreign. Push enter and then as you can see, you can type in then the regression. Here's one, of course, for variable list number one, and then regression price, and then the variable list. You can see the full do fun in the description box. And that's pretty much it, and it's pretty much the same as you can see here. Why is it important again? It's important that you have local macros. If you cannot see it now, maybe if you work more with data, you definitely know what I'm talking about. And if you're watching this video, you were searching for it anyway. Second, if you're writing do files, it's a lot smoother and it gives the reader a faster understanding of your do file. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Good luck.